directives from the Council on Aging and Senior Services for June the 14th, 2018. Our public session, we don't seem to have anyone in public session, no one's here. Mm -hmm. So approved to the approval of the minutes, if I can have a motion on that. Motion. Second. Mary. Okay, anybody, have you read over the minutes and there's any mm -hmm. problems with them or corrections you want to make? Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. Okay, all those in favor of approving the minutes, say aye. 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 All those opposed? Nobody's opposed, it passed. Mm -hmm. Introduction of new board members. We don't have, do we have any here? Um. No. Well, unless unless anyone can meet Dennis last time. Okay. I said hi across the table. Yeah, yeah he's sure yes. he ran. <laughs> he did. In, in an informal catching yes. up. Yeah. Yeah, I know that David's asked the bumper people to join, so. Yes. Yeah, well, we said we got nine, and we're going to need. We should yeah. have at least 14 or 15. Mm -hmm. And 15 is our max. We mm -hmm. should get up to the 13 to 15 somewhere. Yeah, yeah. A bunch of people that are fine. But we had we had five who left us, so that uh, you know, oh well, we'll replace them. Okay. We may be less contentious people. We hope. Old business. Sorry, it's inside. Don't nope. don't, uh -oh. don't print that on the, on the camera. Yeah, you're on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Update on the volunteer recognition dinner. <clears throat> Meet and amp greet. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what the answer is. Oh, that's a typo that came out. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Yep. The meet and greet mm -hmm. um, and the volunteer recognition both went really well. Um, mm -hmm. We had a pretty good turnout um, for the meet and greet. Um, there were, I don't know, maybe 60 people there? Okay. Yeah. At least. Mm -hmm. Now, some just came for a few minutes and, and left, so it was kind of hard to count them all. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, there were some yeah. who stayed and some who came in and talked mm -hmm. to you for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Mm -hmm. And the volunteer recognition event went very well. Mm -hmm. I think um, people enjoyed the, the food. Seth, Seth charged as well for it, but yes. he did produce a good, mm -hmm. good yeah. meal. I don't know if anyone here had any feedback about. Yeah, just in terms of all the work that we put in. We know one lady had a concern with that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What does well, that no, do with that? Do you know? Or is pardon? It, well, it's set? just in terms of, you know, they can't, I mean, if they knew earlier on, at least on um, that's what. That there were cancellations. Yeah, but also that they, you know, if, that, if the food has sat out, like if it was at a wedding, they wouldn't let people take it, but it's there and it wasn't very long period of time, so people would take something, you know. But they did throw a lot of stuff out. So. Well, they didn't actually. Um, we we managed to package it up. Oh, you did? And okay, staff, great. We all yeah. ate it for good. days on end. Good, it was good. Okay, okay. Well, that's good to hear that. That's yes. Good. So um, it doesn't good. matter what happened to it. It's the fact that somebody. No, used it's fine. Yeah, that, that's. I think that was the concern. We paid for it. It should be you used. Paid for it. We don't want to waste. We pay a lot of money for that. So. Yeah. So we don't right. waste yeah. it. Then. I so agree. You can but always bring it to the firehouse. They'll eat it. Really? <laughs> right. Well, I, I used to bring things to. That's uh, what I used to do. In, well, I used to bring things, but they won't take it. Are you still eating. having problems with uh, uh, gluten free and vegetarian? Well, still not coming through completely on that. Oh, I yeah. I, well, I just thought that there was a lot of food. Number one, there were like three entrees. Which is, I think, over the top for the crowd. Yeah. And yeah, it was none of the entrees fit my. Yeah. my but so I had the, there was a nice salad this year, good. so that was good. Yeah, that was Who good. generally contacts Seth? You know, on the staff. So um, Joanne and I um, coordinated. So I, I think he needs to be made aware that there should be. Uh, a little more emphasis on vegetarian because I can eat a vegetarian dish as a side dish. Well, and we did yeah. have a vegetarian dish. We yeah. just didn't. It wasn't gluten free, and we did ask him about having some that were available that were gluten free. But he said it would have just been the mushroom. It wouldn't have had anything on it. So it wasn't really. It wasn't really. 
we couldn't really adjust it to be gluten free. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I, I'm not gluten free. I'm vegan, so I can't eat the cheese and the mushroom. Right. That's what I can't. Eat do. Your dairy and, and yeah. So uh, I had I, they had roasted vegetables and salad, which mm -hmm. last year they had none of that. Yeah. So there was, but you know, there's there's no protein. We're <laughs> improving slowly. Yeah, and, and it's getting right. It's right. I mean, I'm sure it was delicious, but it wasn't. Yeah. Something yeah, like okay. Well, we'll keep on them. And, uh, yeah. Stephanie, I'm sure, is very willing to do whatever you need. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I'm very happy about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about an update on the procedure policy subcommittee? So we did meet, um, we met one, t uh, one time, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and we um, started the work of um, reviewing some policies um, we had a well we talked some about procedure of dealing with mm -hmm. um, it, any kinds of behaviors um, that maybe we our our code of conduct does not address specifically enough um, but also just so that's the policy piece is sort of looking at our code of conduct but also talking about maybe developing more procedures for staff and for volunteers around addressing any issues that come up and how we're going to do that um, mm -hmm. and so whether um, whether we need to let people know in a personal meeting or whether we need to let them know um, by just giving them the code of conduct or um, so we're just looking at all of the ways that things are working here um, and so we're starting with the code of conduct right now but I, I did call the policy committee together um, earlier just because there were issues coming up around um, talking to specific groups and um, negotiating some issues and um, people expressing frustration but needing needing people to express their frustration in a way that is respectful mm -hmm. um, which I think that we just need to keep working on that um, and and I, I'm making a, a concerted effort to make sure that people know that our job is to serve them but it's also our job to serve all seniors and that all everyone has different needs and that we are doing a lot we're trying to address a lot of different needs and that we can't always meet everyone's um, every need and that we have to have some back and forth and flexibility and we have to work together to make those things um, but mutually beneficial and um, that we have to do it in a respectful way too so um, because not everybody has the same needs some some people might think that the group who's in another room is doing something ridiculous but they don't have to be part of it so the, the, the that group might think that what they're doing is really important and that and we want to support all the different groups to get what their needs um, mm -hmm. get, to get to have the kinds of programs they want mm -hmm. so um, so anyway um, we're working on all of that and trying to make this make the environment a friendly place mm -hmm. for everybody mm -hmm. so um, we'll we're going to meet again tomorrow, and um, we'll, at 11, right? yeah, and we'll be looking at at the code of conduct specifically. So, and um, I think I think that I forgot to put the um, the bylaws on the agenda to discuss in here because I think that were we going to do that as part of the policy uh, or are we part, part of the board? It's my board. understanding that the subcommittee was going to look at the code of conduct and the bylaws and then come up with something to bring back to, bring back back to the board Correct. and explain what the changes were and why and to get feedback as to okay and then take a vote right. and then exactly. yeah and then either mm -hmm. adjust yeah. them again right. based on the mm -hmm. comments right. from the full board okay. it's kind of an important thing you don't want to rush into it so yeah so part of the process is yeah. is a uh, 
especially things that haven't been looked at in a long time. Yeah. And I think not everybody in the board had the same like, set of bylaws, like when we went down the motion mm -hmm. for so we only chairperson. Yeah, we only got one set of bylaws. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because like the, we've the never bylaws amended. actually don't say chairman, it just says chair. So I, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know whether or not no. um, I think there were multiple yeah. sets out there no, no. who was, because at, the, at our meeting, I seem to have a more current one than huh. somebody else, or when they made contact. Mm -hmm. Well, 92 was when it was last revised, oh, okay. and it's on that bylaw. Oh, that's right. it, it has been touched since. Oh, right. And so it's chair, yeah, right. it's not what I didn't uh, Yeah, really. so we don't really have to say, I mean, you don't have to rescind the vote, but I mean, pretty yeah. much that's a gender neutral, you know, chair, mm -hmm. vice chair, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. secretary. Mm -hmm. Chair, chairperson is pretty good. Chair. Yes, mm -hmm. either one is yeah, example. Yeah, so I, I think going into it, uh, like you say, the subcommittee getting ideas and then coming back. Right. And we're probably talking about the fall before we make any actual changes, but is it important right. to make the changes, but to make them slowly and right. so we know what we're doing. Process matters. Yeah. Yeah, the prep, right? The prep. Yeah, that does. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is there anything else we need to talk about about the policy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I think, I think that's what we agreed to do was like tackle, you know, one thing at a time. Yeah. 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 Let's do the exactly. two important things, the code of conduct and, and the bylaws, exactly. and then the bylaws, mm -hmm. right. whatever they're adopted, will determine policies. partly what other policies to look mm -hmm. at or committees exactly. to form or not yeah. form. Or, yeah. Okay. But that, at least that was my, my thought. Any addition for Deborah? Oh, and I, I just briefly wanted to add up. Uh, I, sorry for the delay, I finally did do it, but I, we spoke about a person who's a resource for a potential kind of intervention, uh, Beth Cardillo from, uh, Boy, no, oh, for no, some training. Oh, Westfield. Yes, yeah, from Armbrook Village in Westfield. Mm -hmm. She's the executive director, but she has expertise, it, it's aside from her role wearing that hat. She has expertise in this field. She said she had over 100 people attend right. her workshop at on Math that the topic at Math Through the Maze, which yeah. is sponsored by the Alzheimer's Association. So if, you'll see the email I sent. And she's, Great. she, so something that may be coming from that is having her do a workshop sure. and come talk with us on mm -hmm. a, our committee Possibly. Yeah. Well, can you? Can you? I don't know if people who weren't on the board elaborate a little bit about because we were talking about bullying, but I don't think anybody, you know, we've mentioned some of that in terms of of conduct and stuff. And there's some concern about bullying um, mm -hmm. here, so that's that's the answer. Uh -huh. and that's why um, Deborah had asked, and, and we asked to ask that who does a lot of work mm -hmm. around that. Good. And, and she called, and mm -hmm. she had a great name for what she's doing. She's calling it, you know how we are having age-friendly and dementia-friendly? Mm -hmm. Well, she, I think, took a page out of that book. She's calling it people-friendly, <laughs> which I think yeah. is great because it's yeah. more welcoming. Right, that's true. And yeah. not Instead of calling yeah. it bullying. Right. Right. No, yeah. I think that our yeah. whole society could well, use some people-friendly exactly. training. So, <laughs> right. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like well, you were alluding to. Yeah. But you know, people used to talk about, I think in the old, old days, about civility. I mean, that's just being civil. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what it is. It's civil. Again, it comes down to individual desires versus the needs uh -huh. of the whole group. Yes. And you can't do individual mm -hmm. desires all the time, like you were saying. You can't fit everybody's individual what I want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've got to also, well, all of us, I think, modify what we want mm -hmm. to fit the group we're in. For the greater good. Yeah. 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 Which you can get, get along. Ethics, autonomy, uh, justice versus autonomy. Uh -huh. yeah. justice, justice versus autonomy. autonomy. I'm going to write that down. Growing <laughs> up, it was just, you need to be polite or are you going to your room? <laughs> well, yeah. No, well, that was the old days. That's what <laughs> I'm going to There sure. was etiquette training at one point. Oh, yep. Yes. Right there. No yeah. longer. Training. No, no. That book, what you learned in kindergarten. Oh, yeah. Right. Everything I need to know. I learned in kindergarten. Sometimes, as the justice of the peace, I'm being weddings they choose that as a reading really um, oh. and they have to oh. read that at their wedding okay. and it's usually people laugh because there's a lot of people who actually don't know that book mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, moving along to the next one here uh update the meeting with the hampton county field regarding bistro we're very excited about that yes so i did oh, meet do. i did meet with um uh three people from the jail um 
I think it's Ian, Ian Howard, um, who is the lieutenant, and then um, a caseworker and Mindy Cady, who's, um, who's been the liaison. And um, I guess the understanding they had was that the program was going to be put on hold for the summer because of low attendance potentially. And they are very busy in the summer. They put up tents at festivals and all kinds of things like that. So they weren't really available. So I guess the plan they had discussed with Heather was that they would close down the bistro for July and August. Um, so they weren't really available to come back um, for the summer. Um, but we did, um, we did talk a lot about um, creating an agreement, creating some guidelines. Um, we talked about some of the issues that came up and how we might um, create some agreements that the, the inmates themselves sign um, about, and in sort of procedures too, about providing them with a letter of recommendation once they graduate so that they don't need to come back here to get that that it is put in their file at the jail and they will then um, be able to access it from there. Um, we talked about, you know, liability issues. We talked about all kinds of things. Wow. But, but most importantly, I think what we talked about was making it mutually beneficial right. for the inmates mm -hmm. and for the senior center. Um, and they, they liked a lot of my ideas about really creating a curriculum that would expand on their culinary program because there is sort of a limitation that is reached in that program and pro program that could be met here for for advanced skills that they can't get there um, that would ready them for the job market um, in a different way and um, it would meet our needs as well um, so and currently I am in you know, negotiations um, with the city around trying to create a position of someone who would coordinate outside volunteers, um, but also for extended programming around food here. So I think that we will be able to do a lot and we will be able to more than ex meet our needs, we will be able to create revenue um, and um, meet our own programmatic, programmatic mm -hmm. needs for food around the coffee shop, around mm -hmm. our catering, and maybe even cater for outside rental mm -hmm. groups so that we are providing full full service. Yeah. Yeah. It all sounds very good because I think one of the problems with the previous uh, bistro setup was it was kind of set up on the fly with one person kind of doing it and they just could have moved in and, and did it and this, this looks like well, a yeah, organization to start with. And it pulled staff away from things that, that mm -hmm. put yeah. them in, you know, I think Heather was really working hard to make it work but I think that it's not really the role of the assistant director mm -hmm. to be, mm -hmm. stay in that role because we need the assistant director to be doing other well, things. She kind so. of felt it was her baby, so she kind yeah, of. Yeah, no, it was. You and know, and it takes you're a right, while. We need, you do need somebody separate. Yeah, it just yeah. takes a while to get these things set up. I ran a, a meal program in Williamsburg for six years and um, multiple programs, actually. And so it does, it does take a while to work out the kinks. Um, but, you know, we were also. I was also doing cooking classes and all kinds of things there that I think we can do here. So, so do you have a dietitian dietri or somebody who could a little nutritionist knowledge to, to be a part of that too? Because you know people can say that they know about nutrition. But they don't know. Well, so I don't think we need. We, we might need some, some consulting, consulting. Yeah. but I. Well, I um, think that's important. Like I have a master's in public health, and I know I have a, yeah. had a big focus on nutrition. But I understand right. what you're no, no, saying, and why I like your idea about uh, if need be bringing in right. a consultation. Yeah, yeah. and no, so I agree. you know, I mean, unfortunately, yeah. I wouldn't go to the bistro because it was so fatty and salty. Yeah, well, so we will be doing healthy food, and and oh, in good. Williamsburg, we That's were doing very healthy push. food that tasted good. Right. So um, I like that. Do a that can be the motto for food. the new motto for the bistro: healthy food that tastes good. Is that right? Yeah. Well, yes, and I yeah. think that um, 
you know, it's it, as part of, I am on the uh, steering committee for Healthy Hampshire, and I'm, I'm, I also was on the food access committee. Oh. So there's a lot of resources available to yeah. us around creating um, healthy food, yeah. mm -hmm. um, creating more access to healthy food, mm -hmm. um, and there are a lot of partnerships right. being built with the local farms right. and CESA and the food bank. And so it fits right into kind of the right. things that the steering yeah. committee has been working on for, I've been a part of it for six years, so. And the food bank has nutritionists on the staff that provide those services mm -hmm. for free. Just to reassure right. everyone. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, just, yeah, I mean, yeah. I think, you know, being a nurse <clears throat> practitioner, I mean, we're all aware of, I mean, people can talk about nutrition. Yeah. But the reality is what, what is And so mean? that's why knowing who and the resources are yeah. like that, yeah. that's a great Everybody's resource. Everybody's an expert. Everybody's an expert. Yeah. Well, and there are different, yeah, there, different. there's okay. the government's view of nutrition, yeah. and that's, there's that's different views. Right. Different right. schools um, of thought, you know. When we yes, had like, um, was it Healthy Heart Month or something? I think it was in February or March. That was something I remember being advocating for at the time. Is tying it in with the bistro because nothing like that was happening. So I'm so yeah. excited to hear. Yeah. So I brought in information about uh, heart healthy mm -hmm. foods, and I remember yeah. Linda, you made sure they got put out, and which I appreciate. So I'm excited to hear that that's something near and we should do that all the time, not just when right. we have an event that's called yeah. our but, but But I mean, it, it was especially, you know, that was a great opportunity, but that's what I was trying to point out. And I, I remember Heather was sitting there not getting much, it didn't feel like it was being computed. You know, and, you I was know, trying to, to um, express that. With Highland Valley, you know, in terms of the nutritionists, you know, they do have a dietitian. And, and mm -hmm. they that's that right. Food. They oh, do no. too. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, I, I I I agree very much so with their their nutritional viewpoint. Mm -hmm. Highland Valley. Yeah, I mean they they meet the standards. Well, they do, the but you know because they don't have so much money. That's yeah. the point. Yeah. Right, but we are not we are not going to have to use commodities. Right. Right. So. Right. Yeah. right. But I do think. But in terms yeah. of they have newsletters about you know what is what is commonly accepted in terms of being not commonly accepted, but what is evidence based around good you know what is healthy eating. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Uh, yes, I just have two questions. So um, one is, so you we, um, you don't have anybody on the staff that works as a volunteer coordinator like under that title? So the assistant director will be the volunteer coordinator. Will be the volunteer yes. coordinator, so that's what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. And then the second question, when you were talking about liability, does the center have for its volunteers of external people coming in a hold harmless agreement that they sign so that they understand that the center is you can't sue us. You're you're, you're you're not an employee. You're not covered by workers' right. compensation. You're not covered by uh, medical. You know. Right. So we um, we will be revamping the volunteer packet, which was in the process. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of um, there's a lot of misinformation in our current mm -hmm. volunteer packet. So there, is there is there such an agreement in there? Um, it. Because if not, it, I'll send it, you one that I wrote. That, that would be great. Field, yeah, I all of the volunteers okay. at the library, at the senior center, oh, at the that would be recreation cool. department. Oh, right. That but would be great. You come cool. in. You cannot come in and volunteer unless you sign that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, yeah. So but also in terms of suing up, I mean, in terms of like if we had a catering business, well, then we'd figure that out. In terms yeah. Of well, that would be in the contract if they're coming. I'm talking about volunteers who are coming in as a right. volunteer, right. so that they understand if they trip and fall. Right. It's on your health insurance, right. so you can't send us the bill. Or, or, or sue the city. Right. Well, anybody, you know, anybody can sue anybody. So, anybody. so I, I, document. Yeah. I'll be talking to... I'll forward that. Yeah, okay, I'll be talking to HR. I have been talking to HR and the mayor's office, but okay. anyone who gets injured on site is covered under the city's oh, policy. Because yeah. they have a broad liability. Yeah. So then I don't understand, is it right fast? I just don't understand the point you were making then if what you're saying is we're covered anyone I think that waivers um, cover us up to a certain yeah, point it's just you know it's, good it just helps happen. buffer you know people who are looking to sue people ah, I mean it kind of I understand yeah it so, kind of gives them the idea they can't do this so they can't take that out of their head to begin with mm -hmm. Even I mean, though we are covered by, I, I didn't mean when I did medical naive, transport. I'm sorry. Right. If I was. Well, there's, there's, there's different levels between volunteers and people mm -hmm. coming like covered. 
people can sue because they didn't no, shovel no. the steps at City Hall and they slipped and fell and not yeah, lies. and that would yeah. be on us. And that's the liability policy. Mm -hmm. But the waiver, the, the mm -hmm. old harmless agreement and for volunteers is that next level where, oh, right. where, Interesting. Okay. where in, in fact, the liability policy, they can deny it because, so in fact, we have this document and you have health insurance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Right, I'll, I will be looking I'll, I'll send, that I'll send it to you. Great. Yeah, let's go ahead here. So nice yes. having you. You don't even have to reinvent everything. Yeah. yeah. We have a lot of this stuff that I did. One of the things we're learning is to draw on the expertise of all the people in this town. We've got a lot of expertise. Yeah. There are a lot of people. And use it whenever lot. you can. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, moving on to the L Division. Mm -hmm. I'll handle that. L Division is alive and well. We still have money. We spent, I don't have the exact figures, but somewhere close to 4000 for the volunteer dinner. Uh, the, the, his best meal was selected this time was of sets. So he has like three tiers he can, you can have. And the best one was what was selected. So it was excellent food. But like you say, it's, uh, he needs to be upgraded on, on uh, trying a little bit more for vegetarian, gluten-free people. As I say, I can eat gluten-free anything. I can eat vegetarian anything. So it's not something that we're denying people. It's where we're I not denying uh, Jerry Ann. I'm sorry, I don't want to use you individually, but you're an example of people who like, who have your, your dietary habits. And <laughs> well. that way, you, you can eat a, a good meal with protein and, and have a good time. And the rest of us can only. I don't know, you know, the whole thing, and maybe this would be on the point, that do caterers have like different cotton, you know, aware of other dietary putting the Of course. Yeah, of course they do. Yeah. Well, but how many of this didn't happen? Because um, I don't think we stressed it. Whoever okay. was contacting okay. was not stressing it sufficiently, and I think okay. it needs just to be sat down and talked to. And I'm sure Seth, uh, I met well, Seth would, several yeah, times. I mean, sure He's willing to work exactly. whatever you want. He's going to charge you for it, he doesn't care. They're businesses. Yeah. Okay, uh, so the L Division, like I say, we have some money and we're looking at exploring uh, ideas to spend it. Mm -hmm. uh, I know Marie is looking around the building and uh, mm -hmm. got a glint in her eye that says, hmm. <laughs> mm. do, you, do you also, me, do you also, are you, any look into have like um, putting it in a high interest um, account or something like that, the money, because I know the Arts Council in cash has an account that I talk, I, In fact, yesterday I was at our accountant uh, mm -hmm. who does our yearly, mm -hmm. uh, whatever you call it, to the state and, and federal, mm -hmm. and uh, he was suggesting that he said possibly some of the money could be put into right. it a more high interest mm -hmm. it would be a little less available but then we've got okay. it's somewhere in twenty two twenty three thousand right. dollars you don't need it all liquid all at the yeah. same time right yeah it just it just sort of uh, really it grew on us yeah. uh right. we well, had some left over so we had some yeah. left over from the capital the capital campaign on the yeah. the, the vehicles mm -hmm. and we went over that so that could moved into it mm -hmm. and of course the gala brought in seven or eight thousand dollars so we've had wow. a, a bit of money move in and we uh, we used to meet twice, two, three times a year, you know, the other division board. Now we're meeting every month and writing a lot of checks. I went down there uh, yesterday with the, what we did one year in checks and deposits, et cetera, mm -hmm. and it was three pages. Last year wow. it was a half of one page mm -hmm. for the for a full year for 16, 17. So we're, we've really increased what we're doing. Uh, most of it is small stuff, but the, the people who are now they can come to us for you need some invitations, you need a, uh, some flowers for someone for a birthday, you can come to see us. Mm -hmm. But we do need some better projects. Mm -hmm. I know Linda looked into some uh, rug and, and some uh, of the furniture out there, but then realized it was the capital funds would handle that. But I'm sure there are other things. Mm -hmm. We bought uh, all of my all the big monitors in the. Uh, a computer room. I don't know if you've seen the large monitors we have. Someone came in and said, you think it's small monitors and old, older people? <laughs> Guys, get bigger. And so we bought, I think, $500 worth of monitors. Uh, so is there a, a, a monthly, quarterly, or yearly report that comes to the board as to what monies came in and what organizations received it? Or we never have, no. It's, uh, it's its own nonprofit. Oh, it's its own nonprofit. Yeah, it's, it's not related. No, we're 501c3. Yeah. 
but our purpose is sorry. to support the senior center. No, you don't have to be, uh, if it's okay, I don't think you have to be sorry. <laughs> it, 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 I, I didn't mean, understand It would be interesting to learn what the relationship is. Well, some of us are so familiar yeah. with these things, we just explain, well, elder vision. You're, you're, you're just, just reporting everything about on it. What, yeah. the, what the- I'm reporting on what we have. Friends of the library. Yeah. Yeah. Like because that. it's friends okay. of, and so it is related. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I will, yes. every, every yeah. month I will be reporting yeah. as to how we're doing. I, 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 no, I, uh, I general see. general figures and how we're, what the expenses we've mm -hmm. had. Great. And, and, and anything that Marie comes up with, so the board will go on. Our, it's a friends group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically. Yeah. Right. Or, right. yeah. We went, at one time we were going to change our name to the Friends of the Northampton Council on Aging. But we found out what you have to go through in Boston to change the nonprofit yeah. name was not worth it. And of course we had an Elder Vision newspaper. They changed the, the name of the Elder Vision newspaper and they confused them right. away. So that was, it, it was the change was made and mm -hmm. we never bothered. Right. Okay. But we just called the Elder right. Vision Inc. Now I understand. 501 c yeah, I, I memorized that. <laughs> Would it be appropriate ever, do you think, for this group to bring up a suggestion yeah. for how the money might Absolutely. be spent? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so that's all I wanted to yeah. Yeah. put out here. Like I say, we're here too, and most of you we're working with Marie, but any any yeah. suggestions on the board's passed it can be passed out of the board yeah. there. I mean, we're looking for ways of spending that money. Uh, effective. Uh, well, effective. Well, yeah. 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 We don't want to just throw it around. We're looking ways to earn money because, you know, oh, yes. we take money out. I mean, I know right. we Well, our, uh, we encourage the uh, yearly Both. contributions of a lot of people to be made up to Elder Vision. Right. Because there are limits as to what you right. can do with money if you're a city department. Right. So, so we don't have that limit. In terms of the 501c3, is there somewhere like myself or another board member could find out how you're organized and what the purposes were so that if we know of the people bylaws. or organizations that may benefit that would fit with the I can end. give you a copy of the bylaws. Yeah, yeah. yeah that would be great yeah, because be then sure. that way we would know yeah. uh, what kind of things are appropriate or yeah. not appropriate. Yeah. Well, bylaws don't really tell you what's appropriate. I mean, yeah. we've... Uh, well, they're the rules of the group. They're the rules of the group, but mm -hmm. uh, basically the board votes on uh, however to spend the money. Mm -hmm. But our oh, purpose. so there's no definition no. that says it must be for social, cultural, health. No, no, no. Help. It's nothing. No. Okay. That's basically, it must be to help the senior center or usually not council on aging. Okay, so it's just that broad. So that's really we're here as a French group to that, and that's what the money is used for. Mm -hmm. right. We're not going to, you know, fund something in the city. We're not going to fund the Boy Scouts. Right. We're going to fund just this. Mm -hmm. I get it. It's broad. It's broad versus yeah. you can only do specific things. Right. Yeah. Okay. And, and uh, like I say, we're working mostly with yeah. Marie, but if the board has ideas of something you want to have done, please bring them up. Either way. Okay. The problem with a nonprofit is you're not supposed to have a profit. We don't have a profit, we just have money in the bank. No, no, I mean, sure. What if you're high interest, is, is that making a profit? I no, usually they don't make that much. I mean, yeah. They make a Oh, but, days, but it's better to help have your money work for you, right. I know, in terms of we're put, you know, people put it in that to turn this. But okay, let's, uh, let's move along here. Thank uh, you for bringing that up. Can I, can I just make a, su your, a suggestion? I, it would really help if we could not talk over each other because it's very hard to follow the conversation. Mm -hmm. It's just, it, I start feeling like my head's spinning. <laughs> I can't follow each conversation that's happening. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay, any further nominations or elections? Do we know who are nominated? Jerry Ann, are you uh, making a nomination for the chair? I, I'm, she I'm not nominate. nominating myself. She oh, no. Mm. You, you accept a nomination for the chair? Yes. Okay. Uh, Kathy? Yes. And your nomination, your treasurer, right? Tre whatever it is. Yeah, treasurer. It's treasurer. Yeah. Clerk. Clerk, Secretary, Secretary, Secretary. Yeah, Secretary, we need Secretary. one more yeah. person. We need a vice chair. No, we need a vice chair. I'm not uh, taking the job oh. as vice chair this time. I right. need too many. Yeah, I've gone about before if I'm happy to. Yeah, I mean, the vice chair basically sits in for the chair. If, if Jerry Ann can't make it, you sit in and run the meeting. Mm -hmm. That's basically what it is. Okay. And then, you know, with Bob and just being available, maybe the next, you know, the next chair. I mean, yeah. Sometimes that's. So, and yeah, and you can nominate other people. You don't have to, if you don't, if you don't feel like you can serve, you can nominate someone else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That Dennis, how about you? Can I nominate you for something? <laughs> <laughs> Are you what, thinking about what, what would it be for vice chair? Yeah. Which, 
Would you like to be oh, well, I mean, If you was something you want to do, that's totally <laughs> fine. Either you volunteer. I did because nobody else had because I had thought about it from before. We didn't have anyone else on the doing yet. You're already doing a lot of yeah. committees. Okay. So I then, mean, yeah. I'm just saying that if I you're doing age-friendly, dementia-friendly, and you're doing some other things. And well, age-friendly and well, policy. And policy and, and aren't you in the elder vision too? Yep. On that score, <laughs> just I'm reminding gonna, you about the I'm going to accept doing. the advice of our fearless leader, and, and <laughs> <laughs> if you would like, to, I can remove. I don't need to. I would accept it yeah. if you did it, but I'm totally fine with people who've been on the board. I'm a new member, you know. Oh no, I'm not no. that. Maybe way. we need some new blood. I'm not that way. Saying oh, oh, my I'm blood is tired. <laughs> I need Geritol. <laughs> well, we're all in. <laughs> This is not exactly a new group. Yes, Linda. I just have a question. I don't know if this is true. Do you, do you can you nominate yourself, or does somebody else have to nominate you? Oh, uh, you can nominate yourself. Okay. We've had that uh, it, the tradition right. in the past. You can say, "I would like to run for this job." Okay, it's probably in the bylaws, right? Well, well the nominating right. committee would bring it forward. Right. So, so we, yeah, we didn't have a nominating committee. You would next time the we would contact the nominating committee and say, "I'm interested if in this job." If the chair makes. Uh, makes the, uh, it, it's a little weird to nominate yourself, you can volunteer, yeah. so, but the chair could, you know, in our discussions, if, mm -hmm. if people have figured it out, then the chair would say, uh, but, you know, I propose that yeah. for chair, it'd be this person, the vice chair, it'd be this person, mm -hmm. would you be willing to accept it? Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Okay. And we did used to have, I mean, I can remember, if the slate of officers was going to stay the same, if people were going to, we didn't, you know, you didn't need together. to. We yeah. didn't need to. Right. We didn't change things too much uh, over the time. So, yeah. Like yeah. I say, this board is extremely different from when I joined in 2004. Uh, did everyone get the, the the guidelines I sent around from EOEA? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. For boards. Yeah. Okay, moving on to Northampton Pavers. We, we, okay, oh, we're, we're, doing, doing, we're doing nominations last. I mean, the elections last. Yeah, the elections last. Okay. I'm just doing the nominations. Oh. Okay. Moving on to North Hampton Pavers. Well, she sent it. I printed it. Did you print yours out? Oh. You're, you're talking about this, correct? No. This, this one she had sent right here. Oh. Oh, okay. oh that's not the same as the agenda? No, that I handed that over. Right, I do need it. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, it's a, it basically it's a short version of what you had in that big booklet. Mm. <laughs> Okay, Northampton neighbors. And her. Um, so um, I have been working with Northampton neighbors. Um, I have not had a lot of communication yet with the people who are involved with Earn, but I, Linda did um, fill me in on a lot of things that you know have developed in the work of those two groups. Um, and I've also been talking a lot with the new coordinator, Diane. So mm -hmm. um, we are collaborating a lot and um, thinking about how how our relationship is working in terms of their use of the space here um, and and how that might need to change over time. Um, and so I will be you know going to their meetings um, you know here and there to, to discuss these things. But um, I think that we're also talking a lot about how we are referring to them and how they are then letting people know also what we do here and what's available to people in the community. So, so it's a collaborative effort basically mm -hmm. between the two of you. Yeah, because they fill they fill a lot of needs that people have that we that we currently can't fill. Mm -hmm. Some of those things we can't fill, but we also have things like the handyman program that um, they are, you know, putting on their resource page as to remind people that they that that's also available oh. here. So, the other thing is that um, they've also made um, connections with Highland Valley Other Services to, for them to know about each other. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's important because yep. there are there are gaps in services. Um, oh yeah. And then there are also things where uh -huh. people don't qualify for services, and so. Mm -hmm. They still have to get their needs met 
Um, yeah. Just because you might have too much money to get Highland Valley services mm -hmm. doesn't mean that you still still have needs yeah. right. and maybe yeah. can't really afford to pay for someone to fill all your needs. So not the neighbors is not uh, income. No, it's free. Dependent. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a volunteer based. Yeah. Well, so that, so. Except for you have to. Well, you have to be a member. Is there a fee? There's no membership fee. Well, yeah. at the moment. Yeah, yeah. The suggested is between twenty-five to five hundred dollars for right. family. So, yes, right. but you're right; it's not mandatory. Yeah. And yeah. then my other question is: mm -hmm. um, Is there an effort to um, focus on not doing duplication of services yeah. so that mm -hmm. you know they're like, okay, the senior center has the handyman, so we'll not that they would get rid of it, but we'll focus on. You know that kind of thing between the organizations. Um, no, not as much because um, I mean I, I think that um, what we're experiencing as a country really is that the funding is disappearing in many areas or decreasing substantially, and so um, and that the needs to age in place so sort great. of are are yeah much too great to actually meet and in even if someone. Uh, often what I find is that when someone gets services for like chores at home like cleaning or cooking um, if they're really lonely often they're going to put aside that need so that they actually can have some socialization because as human beings we need we need contact and and we need to just have you know human contact and and so people will um, they need they just need more and so it doesn't, I, I really feel like if there are volunteers willing to fill needs, um, <coughs> let them have really Duplication is a good thing <coughs> in my well, mind. That's, <laughs> it's just a matter of coordinating who does what and what's yeah. in the room. Yeah, I was just that's, wondering that's, what that's the what I know that focus that's the issue really is. Right. Well, we do, we, we are working on making sure that we are referring people. Good. Um, okay. Because I think that is one thing that's not happening enough, is that not, not everyone at the front desk um, no. has all of the information yet and so we're trying to make sure that we we have it ready mm. we have it available and that when people call that everyone knows right. that if it's not something we do that there is this other thing right. that everyone should know about and then yeah. the reciprocity is right. they'll say right. on their website you can also contact the senior right. center for this yeah that, yeah no that's Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, we have a social worker who does a lot of uh, yeah. a lot of she things, and she's limited, yeah. but she can help people that they can help, but they can help people that she can't help. So it, 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 you have to work back and forth, yeah. and that's the major thing. But it's also really, it's also really important because it, it's like when somebody comes in and you have so many people involved. How how do you navigate? You know what resources are there? Because I know people get in and well, not that you always get into, but who do you go to and how do you manage this and just move in the system? Okay. The I, I just want to say, and also there's personal preference. Mm -hmm. um, I do medical transportation and some people prefer that even though there's a charge for it than taking a van. So mm -hmm. having multiple choices for yeah. people I think is actually a good idea. And the other thing is sometimes people that I see don't want anything to do with the senior center or don't want anything to do with Highland Valley, you know, so. Mm -hmm. They're, yeah. they're limiting themselves, but if there's more resources for what they right. need, mm -hmm. then the need can be met. it can be met. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's important. Right, good point. Okay. Uh, moving on to Highland Valley Elder Services Report. Okay, we just had a meeting, and essentially, um, we have a grant from United Way, and it's going to go into the nutrition program for Hampshire County, $300,000, no, $30,000 for over three years. And um, we raised money from Valley Gives. The Highland Valley is looking into moving its offices because it, it's really, you know, they're, they're getting bigger and so they're, they're evaluating different places. Mm -hmm. And which, a couple in Westfield and um, one in Northampton, but um, but if that's so a lot of work is going into that whether and also whether or not to rent versus buy, et cetera. So um, they're do, you know 
financially, physically, people are doing well. And Alan's doing a really good job. He's great. I mean, um, and there's a lot of work being done on marketing and fundraising. So, I don't know if anybody has any questions. Questions at all? Uh -huh. uh, you brought up something, and I'm sorry, I, I'll mm -hmm. just switch back to Elder Vision briefly. You talked about Valley Gives. Mm -hmm. uh, in previous years, the Elder Vision has got money from Valley Gives. Mm -hmm. We've got nothing this year. I don't think we were in it. Okay. I think it got dropped because we didn't get a dime. Mm -hmm. now, every year we've got money well, from. Don't we've you got, need to apply oh, I, I think you have to put your name in yeah. or something, uh, and, and it wasn't done because it occurred just about the time things were changing, mm -hmm. people were leaving. So I just wanted to bring that up that we didn't get any money from Valley Gives this year. We have in the past. Mm -hmm. Well, is that some part of the board? I know with the other boards on that, you know, that's part of the board responsibility. Well, no, it was always staff that did that before. Really? We have oh. never done it, but we may have to take that over mm -hmm. to make sure that it gets done in the future. Mm -hmm. oh. I want to look into it for next year yeah, because well, I was I was waiting for a check from Valley Gibbs, which I get every year, you know, and stick in the elder pocket. Okay. Never, never occurred, and I suddenly realized that uh, we evidently did not get. So that that wasn't vetted. that wasn't worked out during an elder vision meeting. No, no, that uh, that was always worked out. I believe uh, Heather or, uh, or Victoria are the ones who would put that in, and uh, because of the timing of it, it got lost. Mm -hmm. And so I thought maybe I bring up the elder vision. We may decide <coughs> next year to make sure we get in or to make sure that someone in the staff does do it so we can talk about it at the elder vision meeting yeah okay i just wanted to bring that up just briefly we didn't get any money but that's all right still have a dollar or two but uh, you know okay on to new business discussion about subcommittees or steering committees separate from the board Marty? yeah so i um I had written in my article that went out in the Chronicle, or in the insert into the, the Gazette, um, about committees that would will meet for a short period of time around specific topics mm -hmm. um, to, you know, kind of bring in and engage the community and engage um, participants here around um, what we can do better. Um, or what we, we could be doing that we're not doing or um, and so um, and I and I propose that we do that separate from the board um, that that be um, more of a just a short-term kind of almost like a focus group or a steering committee um, that we can the staff can then take feedback from that to to then work on programming or certain things. Um, and I have been collecting names of people who um, maybe, uh, especially from other organizations that we might want to partner with, like Northampton Center for the Arts and things like that around development of mm -hmm. things. Um, so that it's not really a um, Council on Aging focused activity, but it would be great if we could have at least, you know, we could have one board member oh, yeah. um, who, who is specifically maybe has skills or... Um, <coughs> it's like a liaison yeah. to that yeah. group. Well, yeah, or, or just, working yeah, yeah, sort of just input. I think if you have a specific skill set or um, like, for instance, Mark is, um, is a business person and, and so I think that having specific people on that mm -hmm. who who can speak to that specific mm -hmm. topic well is more important than it being a board member really right. it's just yeah. that um but i i also think that if, we're, if it's a steering committee as a result of, of our organization one of the board members could should be on it just in terms of being able to carry that information back and forth well yeah i mean we yeah. will we will um be documenting information from right. those and we can certainly bring that to this meeting yeah so um, well, it should be a board like we should have a board member then on at least one board member a steering committee wouldn't you say that or not um i i don't think it's necessary what i'm saying is um it's not a function of the board it is like if we were doing strategic planning um we would have we would have a, um, a broad section represented mm -hmm. of the demographic in right. Northampton, but this is more around a specific topic. So, for instance, I would like to collaborate around arts and culture with Forbes Library 
and Northampton Center for the Arts and I might want to have someone here who is a volunteer, who is an artist, mm -hmm. um, who, who's mm -hmm. maybe been to some things that have happened here and can speak to mm -hmm. what they think could have been done better or mm -hmm. what ideas they have. you collaborate with other city boards that do other, like the Arts Council, Brian, and people like that? Because yes. They, they also have some, some sort of um, connections, et cetera. So that might be an, you know, and like recreation or right. different things like that. Of course. Yes. So I'm, I guess what I'm saying is that I don't, if we make it part of the board, then we have to post, we have to post it as, as a subcommittee oh. meeting of the board. We have to take minutes. minutes. Mm -hmm. And oh. I, I think that actually would hinder the process. And um, so I, I think what's more important is that we gather information and input from mm -hmm. our constituents mm -hmm. um, or our consumers mm -hmm. and also, you know, for instance, in terms of fitness, we might have someone from recreation, someone from the Y, someone who teaches fitness here, um, and our yeah. programming staff person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Um, I, li I like that idea because it's broadening it out to the community. Mm -hmm. There's right. only so many of us and so much we right. can do. And so, um, not actually having 10 subcommittees right. of the Council on Aging when we're not even up to 15 members yet. Right. I like the idea of one person from the, like you said, mm -hmm. and not, okay, they may be a board member, but the point is if it's business, okay, Mark. If it's right. culture, mm -hmm. some other board mm -hmm. member may have it. Mm -hmm. If it's food, or health. Or right. health. You have a public if, health if degree. Somebody or, has expertise. I guess <laughs> I, I right. think it, it might be helpful to draw upon right. and have our right. representation right. also. And that person can report back to us as well. Yeah. Saying. And I just thought of because it was a steering committee connected with the the, the um, council on aging. Yeah, yeah so it was a council on aging steering. So committee. yeah, but what I'm saying is that it's not. It's what not I'm not saying is that it is something. Oh, it informs right. programming here, and so it will be important that the, the media and program people be on, um, that we're doing an assessment of our of our services and programming, and so I can report to you about each of those yeah, subcommittees. So if there isn't a board member on that committee, mm -hmm. that um, nothing will be lost the board right. will be aware mm -hmm. yeah. but it really will in and you will you will be asked for feedback but it will actually be more important to have the right people on those right. committees yeah. than to make board members no, be part I mean, of many I, many more meetings I think for, in terms of, well that, that's not what my point was in terms of if, if this is part of with the transparency and if this is part of the Council on Aging starting these committees, steering committees, then what's our responsibility as board members? No, it would be me, it would be me forming committees okay. and okay. asking for any of you, if any of you wanted to okay. be involved and in that. Information back. I like that idea. That's, that's what I was thinking, what you just said, Marie, that okay. um, if there is a, a particular project that you're looking to implement and collaborate with, and if it's all part of, um, I've been working with some groups on effective utilization of your board. And so if there's a uh, Marino's, mm -hmm. I'm assuming who you'd like to pull in on any given mm -hmm. uh, project, mm -hmm. because a particular board member may have expertise in the arts who could contribute along with the program and mm -hmm. the media and marketing or people, ideas about developing the mm -hmm. program or right. with other community members. And so that just looks like another way to utilize the board. Right. I, I, so it sounds like that's what you're thinking. Yeah, we perhaps. can get bogged yeah. down in, in the bureaucracy right. of, of the system mm -hmm. around open mm -hmm. meeting laws and things like that if we make this a board function. I'm really thinking it's like three very focused meetings with some key players. Right. And then that information that's gathered there will then we will decide as a staff do we need to do a focus group on a specific thing from this because we need even more information or do we take the information we got from those three brainstorming sessions and then implement programming with community with with a specific group in the community. And you're asking people from outside Northampton too, then, right? 
I, it depends. And so it, what, I, what I'm hoping is that if you have recommendations for people who you think might be good to be on the committee for three meetings. Um, what is the name? Yeah, what, 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 maybe we need a little more clarity perhaps. Right, so they're on the agenda here. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it wasn't enough. Arts and culture, and culture programming, um, creating a welcoming environment. Oh. So that I'm really thinking about how our presentation, our the way that we are dis distributing information, the way that people encounter information when they come here, um, the look and feel of the place when people walk in the door. Um, and also the kinds of things that we might put in the capital planning request around facility updates. So if we are looking really grungy, we might want to, you know, we might want to think about like, do we need new carpeting? It's been 11 years, um, and we need kind of an update to be ready for this boom in population, and and so we. We need we need to start be, to be thinking about these things. You know, I've noticed there are a bunch of dead trees out in the parking lot. I, you know, things like that. So, mm -hmm. kind of getting ready for mm -hmm. rebranding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're collecting data around all oh, of those this things. This is wonderful. Maintaining the facility, basically, yeah. here it is. And sometimes we just let it go. You got to stop letting it go. And, and or you don't know that when I was president of music in Deerfield. I like that we brought in focus group mm -hmm. yeah. because we were talking about what do we change our name? What about, what about our right, program? Right. And because when when you're on the board, you you don't notice things. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't notice the dust in my own house until the right. light comes in, and I'm like, what the heck? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, right. and right. so we learned a lot. We had season subscribers. Mm -hmm. We had people who only came a little, and they told mm -hmm. us uh, things that we needed to hear. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the great thing was they said, "Oh, you're doing a very good job," and we ended up in a, the concerts are you all sweet. We, you don't need to change the name. We know music and dear friend right. quality. Yeah. So, since I retired from the board, they've since changed the name. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, right. so that's the other thing I just wanted to say in support of well, that idea is you get to um, right. hear from organizations mm -hmm. and individuals. What are we doing well? Mm -hmm. What are you not doing so well? What do we not know about? Mm -hmm. How can you partner with mm -hmm. these different organizations who have similar yeah. missions in the mm -hmm. intersection right. um, with uh, our age uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. group that we Cohort. serve? And, yeah. and uh, uh, excuse me, this is all well and good, but we're getting a little behind on time, so I think we need to cut I'll this one short. And uh, you can talk to Marie pri privately on this mm -hmm. if you have other ideas. Okay. So the ones that welcome the environment, arts and culture, and then the inclusive diversity. diversity. Inclusive and diversity, yes. Three areas she wants to. Uh, Right, so that that, that committee would, um, I'm, I'm thinking that Michelle would be involved in that, um, that um, we would be engaging different people around how do, we, how do we serve the Hispanic community in a way that feels accessible and friendly to them because they may not be coming here because it doesn't feel like a place mm -hmm. that actually can serve them mm -hmm. in a way that that they want to be served and so it's really it really is more of a focus group model it's just that it's um, I feel like it's a little bit more in depth than a focus group so that's why I'm not calling it that and hopefully you know when you talk about diversity it's not just diversity in, in terms of ethnic groups it's also diversity in terms of economics etc of course or mental health yeah any kind of diversity mm -hmm. right uh, I think we need to move on yeah Deborah make it quick okay. very short is that well Based on what you just said, uh, I apologize, I don't remember her name, but do you still have that staff person who we met a couple oh, yeah, months Carmen's ago? Still here. Carmen, yes. Yeah. So yeah. she'd be instrumental yes. mm -hmm. for you. In, yeah. And um, and then uh, uh, religious diversity, mm -hmm. obviously, mm -hmm. as well. And, yeah. um, so I'll pass this around about that. Okay. We, need, we really need to move on to the announcement for the new assistant director and other staff mm -hmm. developments. Mm -hmm. Marie, that's your favorite. So um, I did send you all an email about Kim Park, mm -hmm. um, who is coming on on the 25th. Um, and she, um, you know, she ha I think she has a great skill set and is going to bring a lot to, to the work that we have ahead of us. And, um, and I think that the other thing is just that I brought on 
another person who, to um, assist in um, the marketing and media um, initiative and rebranding and things like that, who's an amazing graphic designer named Eliana, who um, is a, working through a, a back to work program called the Senior Community, um, Community I can't remember what it stands for. Um, it's the CSEP program, Community Employment Program, yeah. yeah. It's for, the yeah, for senior, it's Department through the Elder. Department of oh, Health oh, Affairs. Oh, okay. oh. Yeah, so, and she, um, she has a lot of experience that's gonna be very beneficial to us. Mm -hmm. um, and I did interview also for the media and program coordinator mm -hmm. position, um, but I can't announce that yet because it hasn't gone through all the official streams just yet, but. Um, yep. so what about Bob Kais? Okay, so Bob, um, Bob Kais retired, and I, my understanding is that a custodian has been hired. They were interviewing, mm -hmm. um, and I, I don't know the name of that person, and I don't know exactly when they're coming on, <laughs> but um, they will they will be starting soon. Because so. it is a, it is a city, and you, you, don't, you don't supervise them. It's, it's a central, central services system. supervisor. That's what I yeah, they hire them yeah. supervisor. Right, right. 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 Okay. Um, oh, I think. Well, we need. We definitely need somebody. So. Oh, yeah. sure. We need them going soon. Okay. Moving on to the cultural council grant. Mm -hmm. So, um, sort of last minute, the community sing project that was the grant was going to be submitted through Forbes Library. Um, it, it was discovered that they were already submitting an application, so um, they they couldn't they weren't going to submit two. So we um, I actually submitted it um, through our our council um, or our senior center. Um, so um, and because we weren't submitting one, it was fine. But next year we may be submitting one, so we'll figure that out. But and they should be we do grants on Monday. I mean on Tuesday. What, what we reviewed happened? them on the Arts Council and reviewed oh. grants because um, it was through Arts Easy, which is the Health Council's not profit, and um, reviewed them. We had 57 grants, and um, and last night there were the allocation, um, so I okay. wasn't able to make that. So, so hopefully by the end of the week we should find out. Great. Okay. Uh, moving on to the next. Uh, no questions. Further questions on that. Moving on to the next thing. The uh, Marie has requested a change of meeting time. Uh, can someone make a motion uh, regarding that? Deborah? We're making a motion now, we're discussing later. Oh no, I'm saying I'm in, is you this make in the favor motion? of it? You what need, is yeah. the motion you're you going to make? make oh, I'm in favor of the proposed meeting time for, was it 3.30? 3 3.30, which would allow more people who work during the business day to Do we have a second? Second, Jerry Ann. Okay, any discussion on the meeting time? Anyone who has a problem with it or sees a difficulty? Mary, Mary, Mary do you have yeah. a problem with it? Just only because I used to just stay um, here with yeah. you, right? Mm -hmm. well, and one I'm not going to see you all afternoon. Oh, could, you, sure. could you go home and come back? Um, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Well, it, it well, that would be. It, it I'm may be not more happy about okay. it, but I yeah. will do it. Well, thank you. But it turns out there are people we have. Uh, <laughs> Dennis is, uh, is one of them, and, and Mark is another. Dennis. I mean, Mark is one. And who do work and, and some people who are coming on. Too. And, right. and some I don't know about them, but I mean, there are people who work, and we do want people who work on here besides just retired people. It's a nice diversity to have somebody who's still out there doing things. It's and my fault. You were. Yeah, no, it's not your fault, but, you're, you're, but you are an example of those that we want to attract. Oh, and at 3.30, work, work, work. Right. Well, there were actually, there were actually um, some people who wanted to join the board who couldn't unless we changed the time. And, um, and I think that um, if we're not moving into the evening, you know, is some boards meet in the evening, but it's hard for a council on aging board. Well, it's also it's older people. I mean, I know a lot of boards that drive. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so this seems so like a good compromise. Maybe we could do 
something like I could bring you to your home and then pick you up on the way yeah. and then, you know, we'll figure it out. But we, if you do it, look at this historically, when we started this board, in fact, when I started with the board 2004, I don't think we had anyone on the board that worked. Yeah, got 100% retired. Yeah. No, I was. I, oh, I you. worked on the That you were, okay, there was one. Was working yeah. for <laughs> but we had very few, and, and it was, uh, so one thirty was a good time in the afternoon for the people. And I think we just let it go like that. And this is, a, I think, a pretty a good idea. We're gonna have to adjust Elder Vision. I'll see how they feel about coming in earlier or later, but. So we have a, we have a motion. So we have a motion. And are there any other questions or discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? No one's opposed. Oh, it passed. Mary. Yeah. Did you oppose, Mary? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we have right. one. Yeah. Melinda right. put down one vote opposed. And you've come to terms with the fact that you're not in the minority. Not in the majority. Okay, so our, our if this will start in July, our July meeting. We'll start at 3:30 time, as per the uh, uh, email that Mary sent out. So review that. Nobody was showing up at 1.30 here. I was scared everybody was going to wait till 3.30 today. Okay, age-friendly and dementia-friendly. Tufts grant opportunity. Do you want to um, give an update on what's been going on, what's been going on and then I can talk sure. about the Tufts okay. grant? Um, before Linda left, we had investigated becoming both age-friendly and dementia-friendly communities. And it was my understanding, even though the WHO, World Health Organization, has designated about, uh, as information about being a um, age-friendly, um, we were pursuing an application through AARP uh, to become, to, to uh, attain age-friendly status through them. And uh, we were writing it out, you know, I have to, it's all my age-friendly dementia-friendly file. <laughs> so, um, right now, things we were, Brainstorming part of the um, age-friendly um, application is getting all these stakeholders involved from different constitu constituencies, you know, business, healthcare, hospital, etc., and having uh, focus groups talking about, and also uh, assessing what is already what makes Northampton age-friendly already, you know, because we do do a lot of things already. Mm -hmm. So, um, so we we're in the process of doing that, and we've already met with the mayor. And, um, and he was on board with, with us going forward with this application. And because of the, you know, when he was leaving, et cetera, it just stuff in the background. Right. So, and we're fortunate that uh, Cindy Langley, who used to be the COA director, God, when I started, remember Cindy? A long time ago. She left and went to aid for our AARP, so she can help us immensely through this part. Right. Mm -hmm. For the AARP yeah. part. Yeah. 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 And she knows a lot of people at the state. Great. So to be clear, this is uh, for Northampton, so not for uh, our facility. For Northampton the city of Northampton. is the city of Northampton, okay. yeah. yeah. I wasn't too sure. Yeah. And the other one, Dementia Friendly Community, I've been involved with that, and um, it, it's a little hazier, you know, and that's that's the hard thing. How do we develop this part? And there's a group of us that have been working on it, um, or starting some work on it, and uh, Deborah's a part of it, and, there's um, two people, one woman from Rockridge and another person who's actually connected with Girl Scouts, so getting that involved. So we were discussing right. ways of becoming dementia friendly. I've worked a lot with Emily, who's now works for the Mass Councils on Aging, and she's the dementia friendly expert mm -hmm. in the person. For the state. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we, there's quarterly meetings, and we, we, mm -hmm. we participate. I mean, I've been working almost all the meetings, and um, Michelle's also really interested in that part. So we'll be working on it, just trying to figure out how to get started. And I think it's hard because we're doing both at once. And I still haven't wrapped my head around the intersection. Mm -hmm. You know, because what you can be, you can't, but it's like trying to focus on that. Okay. Yeah, age friendly is more, more universal. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Exactly. Could exactly. I piggyback when you're done? Mm -hmm. on yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, we're in the process of, of doing all that. And, you know, the reality is, is age friendly is really people friendly. And as we all know that, um, you know, it's not yeah. just for people getting older. Some of the things that, that is, uh, make some, a community age friendly is also beneficial to all of us. Mm -hmm. So it's all ages, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It goes back to being a civil society. Oh. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's hope. Well, and being, being age friendly is also um, 
there's a whole the whole concept of being um, friendly, being age friendly is actually being friendly to people who are eight from eight to eighty. Right. Mm -hmm. Is this exactly. concept of exactly. that a sidewalk should be accessible right. mm -hmm. for children, for people with disabilities, for adults, for right. people who right. you know are pushing a cart of groceries? Oh, I think um, that parks the same way. Parks in public places. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, they're talking I mean, about, yeah, environment, yeah. our environment. Yeah, the building yeah. environment, and then there's other kinds of yeah, ways right. of looking in terms of hospital access, mm -hmm. uh, you know, different mm -hmm. other things that in terms yeah. of how mm -hmm. people. I'm sorry, that kid needs to be in a leash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. There are. <laughs> keep running around here again. Somebody <laughs> might say that's what would be age friendly. Right? <laughs> <laughs> age friendly to the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> Well, dementia friendly. I mean, and actually, dementia friendly is just being friendly. Period. You know. Well, but yeah. it's but it's also about understanding the mm -hmm. issues of people with dementia. dementia. Mm -hmm. It has like, a particular focus. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Then right. I'm just weird. They have a problem, and you have to recognize it. Like a person who has here. a bad leg or an old leg, <laughs> it's a uh, disability of sorts. What they say about me. I'm not sure. They're not. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No. I mean, it's 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 disconcerting. If someone doesn't understand, mm -hmm. um, you know, I experienced this a lot with my mother-in-law. Just that, um, you know, she still had she still had spending money, and she was still able to walk around in town. But um, we'd find that she was um, she eaten eight Hershey's bars, right. you know, because right. she was spending all her money on mm -hmm. what she wanted, and but then it, it wasn't good for her, and mm -hmm. so. The store owner, mm -hmm. what you know, didn't there. have an understanding mm -hmm. um, or even know to call well, us, and so if we talked, we talked mm -hmm. to him. Mm -hmm. um, there became a partnership around. There's you a know, lot of stuff around communication and educating, yeah. and I mean, people don't know. I mean, people just don't know about how to. Have and they don't carry a label. I mean, you, they, no. right. sometimes it's very right. normal. And I mean, uh, well, there's also, normal, unfortunately, but sometimes she gets a little confused. This lady really likes chocolate. She's been here in town. I mean, people don't know. I mean, and then you get the rights, human rights, and things like that. So there's there's a school. Well, there's anything about but, chocolate. And I know, just the other thing crazy. I wanted to kind of say about it. Oh, God, I think I just forgot what I wanted to say about that. Well, it'll come back to me. Yep. <laughs> Speaking of dementia. Yeah. Oh, the whole stigma mm -hmm. of having, uh, we've talked about people being friendly to each other. People who have a dementing disease are often stigmatized. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. and um, so it's like, how do we welcome people into our community and yeah. are different and stuff? Mm -hmm. And there's a, a very high suicide rate for people who are diagnosed. So, mm -hmm. um, oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. Oh. It is a certain stage, I know when Mother Law went through it, she had dementia. It was a certain stage when she was losing it and understood she was losing it. Right now, she got through that, and after that, she was perfectly happy because she didn't know what was going on. But there's a point in time in which she was crying a lot and weeping and being very upset because she suddenly knew it's all slipping away. And this was a college professor who spoke four languages, and it, she just realized it was all slipping away. And that, that's the dangerous point where you can, they can just say, well, that, that's it. Yeah, yeah. I can still do it. I can still understand how to but kill myself. But it's also hard if somebody is of a lower intellect, because I work a lot with people with um, intellectual displays and dementia, mm -hmm. and they may be having these kinds of outward behaviors, crying, etc., and you're unable to kind of like understand where they're coming from because they don't dare able to communicate. So there's issues around, like if somebody is, speaks another language or somebody maybe, you know, have a mental health. We have a lot of people who have mental health problems here. It's the same kind of thing. How do you yep. work with them? Yeah. 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 Okay. I know it was difficult with my mother-in-law, so for a period of time, mm -hmm. and that would be the dangerous period of time. Yep. Oh, I'm just very briefly. All I wanted to share was two particular mm -hmm. things. One is that for quite some time I've been feeling that, as a senior services, that we could, we can, and I know we're going to be getting some initiatives off the ground regarding dementia friendly and that it is not it, the perception I think and this is what I take issue with is that it's oh it's hard to implement them both together and it's overwhelming and what I'm learning from other communities who have successfully done this is that no just and even Emily told me, they said just start with some small right. things and that what a lot of communities are doing is leading the way for age friendly with 
the dementia friendly program mm -hmm. sure and be and because that's all part of the whole age yeah, friendly and right. so all I'm asking is that we kind of revisit and reframe oh, how right. we're right. looking I at it because for the for the past couple of years it's kind of been on a back burner and and almost like afraid to start there's well, things that don't that don't cost money right. Right. Really well i think to, there's a lot of do. things that are going on you know about the the training next week that's going to be well that's season. what i wanted to ask you about because you're going you said you were going to that i wanted to hear what so i was. sent an email i don't know to the two of you to see i, I know I, that was the other thing i want to ask if i don't know if you saw that email to see yeah. if we could get any of our city employees well they should have done that too. email just yeah, um, it's probably too it's quick too of a turnaround to. But but see well, that's we don't but, know for sure. But at least to know that hey, uh, maybe we'll but, shoot them the same. Did you know this is happening at um, HCC? And if you can't get but, in on it this time, maybe I, you could send your employees next. Well, time. the other thing is that what I'm hoping, why I'm going, because if we're going to be starting the dementia, part of it is doing community education with right. restaurants, blah blah blah, churches. Whatever. Why don't you tell the what the training is that not it's everyone for first knows responders. what you're it's, referring it's to? It's working with people yeah. with dementia high, with, for first responders. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, um, so, it, but I, that's one of the reasons I'm going because if we're going to be instituting mm -hmm. this in Northampton, then I should see what's being taught there or what's being yes. explained and, and yeah. maybe coming back to yeah. Northampton you know, and according to what our our departments, you know, they their time. It's hard for people to leave. I mean, I get it, and I've I've done training, so going there and their time period with them, and and taking the time out and and doing it, and then, and then dementia friends is another um, statewide program that is also you can go online. I mean, there's they have it specific for restaurant people, etc. Mm -hmm. um, you know, churches, people who go up churches, synagogues, you know, how religious communities. You know, you take up, you know, it's a stupid little video. I mean, it's really kind of elementary, but it, it, people can do that. So making the community aware of that. Mm -hmm. These are okay. all things we could We can uh, kind of cut this a little yeah. short now. Uh, yeah, uh, are you through? Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we need to get on to the next one. Oh, I just well, wanted to the grant. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. so that the, um, the Tufts the money. The Tufts <laughs> grant, um, a letter of intent to apply is due by July 20th. And so I will be working on that and compiling some of the, the things that have already been done to use in that application. Um, and so that will be um, around, that the, the specific grant that is, that, that I'd be applying for for the city would be for policy and advocacy uh, focus, so. For dementia? No, age for age, to training. make Northampton an age-friendly age -friendly. city. Yeah. Um, so it would it would um, dovetail, you know, very well with the the initiatives that, you, that you're talking about, the age friendly and the um, dementia. Dementia is really part good. of the whole age friendly. Yeah. Yeah. So if we have the AARP project going on and we have mm -hmm. um, the Tufts funding, it it, it will, it will be will the funding meeting. for a person or what would the funding be for? Well, where we will decide that uh, we will be. I mean, you're asking the grant. Yeah. yeah, in the letter of intent, we will be saying what okay. what it is we'll be okay. focusing. On. Oh. Well, thank you for sharing that. Is this okay. Tufts University? Or yeah, they Tufts Health Plan. Health Plan. They have a huge Tufts foundation. Yeah, yeah, they do a lot of yeah. stuff on dementia. For That's my insurance, matter of fact. Okay, moving on to election of officers. We have a slate today of three. We have uh, Jerry Ann Butler, who's running for the chair, Dennis Helmus, running for vice chair, and Kathy Pakulis. Pakula. It's my main name, Pakula Service. Pakula, I never get that right. That's okay, Pakula just Kathy Service, service is fine. Okay, like well, I want to put the whole thing in there. Yeah. If you're proud of it, we'll put it in. And she's running for secretary treasurer. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anyone else who wants to run or oppose anything? Oh, so since there's no opposition, can chance. we, would you like to vote for individual or the entire slate at once? The entire slate, yes. Okay, so we have a vote, uh, a motion to vote for the entire slate to elect all three officers. Deborah? Second. Uh, anybody want to second that one? I'll second. second. Mary seconds it. Okay, all those in favor? Then, right? Oh, yeah, we got a quorum, yeah. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? No one's opposed, that's nice. So, congratulations, Jerry Ann. 
You'll be sitting yeah. here next time. Yeah. 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 You'll, you'll, you'll be the man and you'll be the man in back of her in case uh, she calls you up. Yeah. If she calls you up at three o'clock in the afternoon and says, I can't make it. Yeah. You know we're gonna sit I'm here. I'm gonna go, yes you can, I'll pick you up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll and, drive you in your own van. <laughs> and Kathy, as usual, you are handling all our secretarial duties and Thank God for and, and treasurer duties, secretary. but the only time we need your secretary is when we're in executive session and we don't ever handle any money, so as a treasurer, it's a position. Hmm. Yeah. It's but if we can go to executive so session. So why don't we don't, you mean yeah, okay? So, if we go to no, executive session, all staff has to leave. So and that includes Linda. So, so you'd have to take notes then. Question, usually yep. don't we take July off and we're not this time? Well, no, we've never taken July off. Oh, the last okay. year was the first time we've ever taken off. In the bylaws, it's only August. Last oh, year we okay. voted to take July off. Mm -hmm. This year we did vote to do July because Marie is on, coming on board. We thought we'd give her one more, mm -hmm. one more shot at us before we go <laughs> fleet, fleet for the summer. And maybe next year you could do July off if we had ourselves mm -hmm. organized. And I hope by next year we are well organized. I think we're pretty good already. <laughs> okay, can we have a motion to no. it? Oh, no. Oh, I, I wanted to add some things to the new business just because people have found out that I was running for the president <laughs> chair. So I have this little list of people. Could you check on this? So just some things maybe to think about for next class, um, for next meeting. Um, Clearly marked recycling mm -hmm. uh, boxes around here. You know, like when we had the, the volunteer meal, mm -hmm. there wasn't, you know, right. things to recycle. So, and I, I did. I think maybe with, uh, just to add to that, I think with the new custodian person mm -hmm. coming in, because I brought that up before, but I was quite uh, keen about it. So I think maybe we can start to institute that. And I, I also have the dead trees. People have been telling me there are three dead trees up there. <laughs> I don't know what to do about it. Well, the city does replace trees. There's one, there's one that's going to be dead. So, so I'll, 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 yeah, I will, I will write down everything that you. They're in like a row, but then there's yeah. another one closer to the building that looks Ooh. a little itchy. Well, why don't we get the tree from Mike to and the city will provide trees. So I'm, st I'm okay. still getting. <laughs> Complaints. I actually wiped down one of the machines in the fitness center because somebody wrote on it dirty in the dust. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the, the people that come through there empty the trash cans and, and take a dust mop and just mm -hmm. go through. But no, I've never seen anybody, center. fitness okay. center, I've never seen anybody wipe down those machines. So, I was wiping down when I used them. Uh, yeah. Do, well, you, you know, it's like the whole machine, oh, not, yeah. just oh, yeah, the yeah. Handles, not just the handles, the whole machine. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and then someone else was um, asking me to um, do a, a, a feasibility or a, a check out the class structure as far as funding for the different oh, classes, we the free ones and then, and then. Oh, I yeah. thought, was that and the that way? Was, no, and that's the Heather and that's Victoria were going to do it. Can you explain more about that, please? Well, I guess some of the classes you have to pay for and some of the classes you don't, and there's no, tied in with this, there's no, the, nobody's asking for anybody to evaluate these instructors or the any kind of feedback on the classes, I guess. So satisfaction mm -hmm. surveys. Satisfaction yes. and also so pricing. pricing. Mm -hmm. yeah. People are interested. That's something Victoria and Heather were going to work well, on because the, pri the prices for various classes are very okay. chaotic. Very different. Now yeah. Jim Spencer doesn't charge for his at all, so his are free. But uh, that's unusual. Most of them, the instructor wants some money, so we have to get some. But they're all various. Some are very quite expensive, mm -hmm. and some are quite cheap. Yeah, like some Tai Chi is or yoga oh, is free, and well, some is yeah. Paid. There's, a, there's and a Tai Chi that, that happens. Happens. It's just yeah. Yeah. informing people why right. that is. Right. And, the, and uh, I know this. This is an issue for Donna, who's not here. Donna Park, but um, the um, payment, no, the payment for the classes. As people have said, you know, every time you want to go to a class, you've got to go to that front desk, and you've got to pay individually and it's you know you get a, the person gets a book out it's streamlining it it, it, it hasn't we're figured, looking at that we haven't figured yep. it out up to this point but streamlining it so it's easier for people to pay for class and quicker for the staff and quicker for the so staff. they can get it done faster that's a good point 
a lot. And the other thing is that I would also like to bring up is hours because there are a lot of people that would like um, the gym to be open on weekends and hours. And this lady over here is working yeah. on that. No, I, 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 I brought I that up in the past and I too. There, I, there are a lot of my friends who are older and want to come to the gym and can't. And I don't know how the classes are done, but I run a class um, for people at the hospital and I just, I have a one time fee. Um, and then I have a card, and I punch it. Punch so card. if you come to the class, mm -hmm. it gets punched. If you don't, it doesn't. I don't know how your class is. We have both. It's like six we weeks have both So it's just a, you pay once yeah. up front, and then you have 15 classes. And when you're done with that, you go on to the next. So, yeah, we, we have both. up on that? And somebody follow up on that? You do. Oh, it's <laughs> We have some people like to pay each time, because the they world. may not come <laughs> to. Oh, wow. So and you teach it at the hospital. Yep. Oh, we do teach. Okay. Yeah. Can I uh, entertain a motion to uh, adjourn? Yes. Second. Anybody want to move on, Mary? I second. Kathy seconded it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody want to stay? Oh, no. Pay for it. Oh, we'll get it.